Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. We've got two excellent papers to cover today, one on long-term Earth changes and one on very short-term Earth changes, both driven by the sun. And the sun is where we'll begin, and there really was only one eruptive event of the last day, an M4 flare that was not aimed at Earth, but this southern coronal hole is facing us now and is expected to deliver enhanced solar wind to Earth early next week, around Monday or Tuesday. Minor geomagnetic storms are expected, and we've got another Earth earthquake watch because of it. Looking to the single eruptive event we did have, gorgeous, enormous, highly dense plasma but clearly erupted southward into the solar system and away from the planet's orbital planes. Soho Coronagraph confirms. And a spot of good news here as well, sunspots did little other than decay. If we get more solar flares that'll be the older established groups, the others didn't feel like sticking around. Two science articles to hit today, starting with the preprint I hope gets circulated enough, breaking down the energetic particle precipitation control of Earth's magnetic field and how that impacts solar forcing. We were able to come to the conclusion that modern global warming has been 81% the changing magnetic field of Earth, the ongoing pole shift, 15% the sun, and about 3 or 4% other stuff like CO2, methane, water vapor, aerosol reductions, record low volcanic activity, you get the picture. The other study looked at how the electrodynamic coupling of space weather events is indeed rapid and unaccounted for. Here they once again found near simultaneous impact due to the electric field oscillations, and that's what the climatologists keep ignoring. It's more than their slow, trickling irradiance impacts, there are rapid electromagnetic ones. Folks, we've got a two-day event at Observer Ranch this weekend, and then next weekend, Dr. Robitaille comes for grand opening. The week after that, Dr. Dunning and I run the Kings of Catastrophe Conference, another two-day event focused on the magnetic pole shift, and we have other key events going on this season as well. Pick a time to come see us and bring the kids. We have tons of kids' activities. It all starts at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.